we're going to start with the story called the stag with one eye the stag with one eye this one is interesting and maybe you can get something from it okay so the stag with one eye let's go into it a stag blind of one eye was grazing close to the seashore and kept his sound eye towards the land he kept his sound eye turned towards the land so as to be able to perceive the approach of the hounds while the blind eye he turned towards the sea never suspecting that any danger would threaten him from that quarter as it fell out however some sailors coasting along the shore spied him and shot an arrow at him by which he was mortally wounded as he lay dying he said to himself wretch that i am i bethought me of the dangers of the land whence none assailed me but i feared no peril from the sea yet thence has come my ruin with the moral of the story being misfortune often assails us from an unexpected quarter now let's break this down let's break this down so the stag has i mean this, this is pretty simple right aside from like the uh what it do maps how you feeling brother like uh, with this story of course aside from like you know the the wretched and the wince <laughs> thence you know all the the old school kind of uh uh syntax i guess um it's really about a stag that had one eye he was drinking water and you know he's trying to make sure that um what it do mike what it do He's trying to make sure that he can, you know, he's keeping his good eye to the land because he's like, hey, I need to make sure that, you know, none of these hounds, none of these wolves, none of these hunters come and get me. So he's keeping his eye like this while his blind eye is towards the sea. So while his blind eye is towards the sea and he's just on point, my man is on point. He on the swivel, whatever you want to call it. Meanwhile, on this side, the sailor see him snipe his ass down and he's on the ground crying. Sway, what it do? Vontae, what it do? So, this stag, you know, just get back into it. The stag with one eye, he's keeping his good eye towards the shore because he thinks that um, wolves and other things might come and get him. But on his blind side, on his blind side, which is towards the sea, the sailors and hunters saw him, got him out of there. He was on the ground crying, talking about, damn wretch wince hence <laughs> okay it's just funny language but uh wretch that i am i bethought me of the dangers of the land whence none assailed me but i feared no peril from the sea uh yet <laughs> yo sway shut up <laughs> yet thence has come my ruin um i'll give you your money on saturday but uh so of course, the moral being misfortune often assails us from an unexpected quarter. So what does that mean? It means watch everything. And this is this has kind of been a theme this week in general. You know, uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of people will show fear towards the thing that towards the thing that they know is going to they know it's going to burn them or they think they know it's going to burn them. But not to the side over here. It's like when they say, oh, like. Um, like when, when people get kidnapped or something, it's usually by someone they know or same with even like, unfortunately murders, a lot of it comes from people you do know, as opposed to folks that you don't know. Like I'm more worried, like, you know, you gotta be more worried about folks that know you clocking your moves as opposed to people who don't know who the hell you are at all. Cause people don't know who the hell you are at all. Don't know you at all. While it's the folks that do have a little bit more of a drop on you. Um, and I mean, there's many different ways that that can go. There's many different ways, uh, Malik, what it do? Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to call you by your new nickname today. I'm going to let you have it. It's a new day. It's Friday. <laughs> but, um, I think this story, I think this story really just illustrates the, the importance of, you know, if you're going to be on your swivel, if you're going to be aware, you need to be all the way aware. You need to be all the way aware, 360 aware. Um, not even necessarily in a perspective of murder or or uh harm or anything um you know it's, it's more so it's more so just just be aware be careful
Um, I feel like I have more to say about it, but I kind of don't. Um, really, just 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 watch yourself. I, I, I think I, I'm not gonna get political. No, don't get political. Don't get political. Don't get political. Um, really, once again, ultimately, it comes down to being aware from all angles. Don't think that just because you're comfortable at this place or you're comfortable with this side, or you, that nothing nothing is going to come to you, you know? Um, and I would even go make it a little bit more esoteric and say, you know, some sometimes people look, you know, sometimes paranoid people, they look, they look everywhere. It's like, oh man, the world's out to get me. The world's out to get me. The world's out to get me. But really, you're the only one that's sabotaging your progress or your uh, uh, your life. And I think that that's interesting too, because you have your blind eye on yourself and you're keeping your good eye towards the world, hoping that, not even hoping that per se, you're more so like kind of expecting that someone out there or something out there is going to do you wrong. Something out there is going to do you dirty. Something out there is going to keep you from where you want to be. Ultimately, it could be you. So 360 is all around. 360, I might even say 540, 720, if we're going to go Tony Hawk skate park, Tony Hawk underground. Um, you know, look all around, look up, look down, look left, look right, look within, look without, without, look outside, I guess. Look inside, look outside. Um, I, really, I really think that that just illustrates that. A lot of the danger and things that we think we're not going to, expect is coming from the place where we really don't expect it um and sometimes the the dangers that we are afraid of aren't that dangerous at all and aren't really going to come and get us it's not you know it's not about and, and i i kind of bring it even to a music sense or a business sense or what have you it's like you don't have to worry about you know the, the world or the business world screwing you over you have to worry about maybe your associates screwing you over maybe maybe you're the one screwing people over maybe but keep your good eye, both eyes, all eyes on everything. And maybe you won't be so surprised. And at the very least, maybe you can be even be prepared. Because nobody wants to get shot from the seaside. So that's it on that. Um, I think that is pretty self-explanatory. Does anyone have any questions, comments, concerns, anything? Um, does anyone have any... Uh, riveting not i don't want to say riveting but yeah riveting because it's funny riveting opinions or uh stories that they want to share regarding that or is everyone chilling should i just go to the next one <laughs>